My name is Alison Rennie and I'm 32 years old and I live in Central Scotland. I was a kind of normal way up until I was about kind of 10, 11 years old. That's when I remember first noticing that I was a bit heavier. It didn't affect me as much when I was younger, but obviously as you get older, you can't wear the nice clothes that your friends wear. You can you start becoming more self-conscious and not wanting to go out and about. And then I was put on steroid-based medication. I suffer from migraines and I was on three different courses of that. At the end of the, the steroid medication course, my weight had gone up quite drastically and just kind of snowballed from there. I mean, it's quite upsetting. You know, it's, it's not a nice feeling. You don't like yourself. You don't like how you look. You feel people are staring at you constantly. You feel very self-conscious. And then about five years ago, I was diagnosed with diabetes, type 2 diabetes. And I struggled for a long, long time with it and became very unhappy with how I was looking and how I felt about myself and it was affecting me every single day. I'm the one that made the bad choices. I'm the one that put the food in my mouth that I shouldn't have. I'm not blaming anybody else or anything else. I think I just had enough and I can't even tell you what the trigger was. I just was fed up that the way I looked, the way I felt, couldn't buy clothing, all, all, all of that. I just came to a point where I just had enough and I went down and spoke to my doctor uh, about other options there. We had discussed the different types of operations. I obviously went for the gastric sleeve, but there's a couple of other options that would have been available, but they weren't suitable for me and my circumstances. I was given a date and a time, and that was perfect. I believe the operation was about four hours long, and I felt fantastic when I woke up, which everyone thinks is crazy after going to a major operation. I think about two hours after waking up, I was on the phone to mum and dad. Oh yeah, I'm fine, the operation was great. I'm just sitting, you know, chilling out in my bed. The, the biggest shock to everybody was the diabetes. I was no longer on any medication and I actually was struggling to keep my blood glucose level high or higher because it kept dropping and it was dropping to that of someone who didn't have diabetes. After the operation, when you get home, it's a liquid diet. It's very difficult to stick to because you're wanting to have some food. And I live with my parents, so they're making lovely dinners and you're like, oh, I really want to try some of that and you can't. So that was quite difficult. You're then on um, soft foods. The kind of food you're eating is different. Um, I have got to eat protein first. So I can't have a lot of carbs. Um, I've got to make sure I fill up in protein so my body's getting enough protein throughout the day. But you don't feel hungry, so it's not as much of a battle. And although it's difficult, for me it's not a negative because I needed that, I, I needed the assistance. From the simplest of things to tying, like tying shoelaces, before I could, I would struggle to bend over um, to get my shoelaces tied. You're having to try and prop your foot up and try and you know, balance yourself. and. I enjoy wearing dresses now, whereas before I would avoid them at all costs. It was Christmas night out and that was it. That was the only time my dress was worn. I use every opportunity I can now to wear my dress. It's fabulous. I mean, although the weight loss is coming off quickly and one of the issues is not having enough clothes to wear, it's a great issue to have. But I think just enjoying life, just being able to go out and not have to, to let my weight control me and what I'm doing.